Hey guys, Flame here, and today we are doing the much anticipated miscellaneous ranked for ABA. So, if you guys do want to pick which roster I'm going to do next in this series, make sure you go check my community tab right after this. It might not be there, but if it is, vote on that. If it isn't, just wait a little bit. It will be there before the day is over. Okay, now without further ado, let's get straight into it. Okay, let's start with number six the worst miscellaneous character i'd have to say is kazuma and some of y'all might disagree with me but i mean he's just a gimmick to be honest he's a gimmick character so when you lose to him it feels like he's like too good but when you when you really look at him he's just a gimmick he's got one trick bro he's just not that good see steel when blocked literally sets him up for failure he can just get comboed on his darkness is slow blockable i mean you can kind of ladder with it but not really i mean like majority of y'all are not doing that and then his snipe has a terrible hitbox it will hit crazy shots sometimes but sometimes just miss point blank his awakening has been nerfed heavily the explosion is not as nearly as good as it used to be and yeah he's very decent but at the same time he's too niche to put any higher on this list he's just not got a lot and aqua's rng and like you can't count on it so like yeah he's just he's just not better than anybody else in miscellaneous okay next on the list we have tanjiro tanjiro is going to be number five because he is just he has no opening like he is probably my favorite miscellaneous character to play as like i love playing as tanjiro but he cannot be any higher on this list purely because his like he's got two guard breaks but one of them has no hitbox to start combos whirlpool you're using that in a combo you're not ever going to use that outside of a combo i mean you might a few times here and there but it's not going to be consistent whatsoever and then his striking tide the one that does do a decent job at breaking block it's one of the worst block breakers in the entire game because all you have to do to counter a tondro is let that move hit you or dodge it but like i most of the time just let it hit me you don't block it so it's not getting the block break you just let it hit you and then there's so much end lag on it that you can combo the tondro after they use that even if they landed it on you so like his one way of possibly starting combos without m1ing first is complete garbage so that is why he's this low on the list everything else he has is blockable and yeah his um one shot combo is really consistent i use it all the time going um up into whirlpool then doing four m1s on the fourth one you down tilt into the uh the slam i forgot what it's called it's like where you do the little jump and then you do 4m1s into the multi-hit attack, and yeah, that's a one-shot. That's really satisfying to hit. I love it. It's why he's one of my favorite characters. And his awakening is borderline busted. One of the best awakenings in the game. But his base just has no options to start combos except for M1s. And the one that he does have is terrible and will get him hit. So that's why he's number five on this list. Next up, we have Chica at number four chica is actually pretty good like she's very mid like she, like not mid like middle of the characters in aba like she's probably b plus a minus probably b plus but she's very underrated but she's not that good but she's not bad either because her moves are all decent like she can combo extend with um her balloon if you're using it correctly she can use balloon it has a fat hitbox when you're using the block break mode if you know what you're doing you can use the other mode to get combos off the slam does decent damage it's pretty bad though because it's blockable or block breaker volleyball if you're good at hitting it i mean it's decent it's still not the best move but it's decent and you can ladder with it and then her um multi-hit attack does really good damage has knockback but it still does really good damage you know her base is just a mid kit like it's a decent kit that can do good things. It's just not one of the more S tier kits in the game. But her base is not bad. It's just not great. So that's why like she's here. But her awakening 
is really good and you can use hat and then use the teleport move to guarantee hat hitting and the, it, she her awakening is just really strong one of the strongest awakenings in my opinion just because well, not one of the strongest like i wouldn't put it in the top 10 because there's a lot of busted awakenings in this game but her awakening should not be slept on it is very scary and can most times clutch up a match and yeah that's why chica is number four okay next up we have the top three the top three are all actually pretty good for um miscellaneous miscellaneous is one of the weaker tier lists in that the top part of the list is not going to be just chocked full of s tier characters like bleach or something so yeah but for third we have one punch man one punch man's hitbox on his bike is very weird sometimes it seems like it has no hitbox but a lot of the time it is going to hit when it has no business hitting and then he has incinerate which is really fast but it is blockable and punishable so you have to be careful with it but it is extremely fast he has a gatling that does decent damage and then he's got a slam that you can use to go into your gatling in a m1 combo so that just adds damage onto your combo his base is solid really solid but his awakening is one of my favorite awakening in this game if you know how to use um after image correctly you can just one shot somebody like three four times with his awakening like his awakening is actually crazy if you know what you're doing and know how to actually use after image correctly you can just win a fight as soon as you awaken with him because you can just take stocks so fast as long as they don't have an iframe and then serious punch got buffed so it's really good now it's most likely gonna hit so yeah that's why one punch man is at three okay the top two are probably the most competitive characters on this list but we have Gojo. A lot of y'all would think Gojo would be lower on this list because, oh, if you use his backhand, you can just spam a move to get out of it. Okay, yeah, you can do that occasionally if your ping lines up right. But when it doesn't work, you're getting comboed for like almost all your health or all your health if you were getting one shot comboed. And then if you do get it to work and the opponent that's a Gojo realizes what you're doing, all they have to start doing now is use red reversal right after backhand. And now whatever you're doing isn't going to work because backhand's going to hit. It's going to knock you back. And whatever you were trying to do to counter him, it don't work no more because you're just going to get hit by it. It's going to do less damage because he's ending his combo with red reversal right after, but still going to do damage and you're not going to hijack it. So yeah, that like you can, Gojo can counter his counter play. And then also Gojo's laugh, literally probably the best counter in this entire game except for maybe zashu and kyoka swagetsu but you could arguably say it's better than both of those because when it lands it has no cooldown so you can just keep using it over and over until it gets baited and it has the biggest thing about it no startup time so you can't just like cancel it right when it starts up if they see something in front of them they can just press the button and now it's it's now it's canceled so yeah no startup time it's it's a really good counter and it can get spammed and then his awakening is one of the best awakenings in the entire game even after the nerfs um if you know what you're doing hollow purple is a guaranteed kill um unlimited void is a guaranteed kill that's already two guaranteed kills and then you have his kit to try and get a third one so yeah gojo is definitely number two on this list and now number one on this list is definitely the most competitively viable character on this list. He's really good. Um, Afro Samurai, his triple strike is one of the best moves in this entire game. It has lots of hyper armor on it. It can hijack combos. It can start combos very easily. It does 30 damage. It can combo extend if you started with M1s already. And yeah, he's just got consistent combos. It's really easy to start a combo with him. He has a counter in case you have a guard break that has wind up or if you're getting too aggressive. He's got awakening with no startup animation that has really good damage. It's basically his kit on crack. And yeah, Afro is just really good. He's got like, he's just consistent. He has no weak points except for range. He does have a weak point in range, but that shouldn't matter most of the time if you know what you're doing with him. His block break is really good, really consistent, gives you a little bit of iframes, not really though, because you can still get hit kind of, but it will usually hit and trade damage. You can use it after a down slam to get extra damage on your combo, you can use it to block break, you can use it to get away. It's just a really decent guard break, and then triple strike, I already said, one of the best moves in the entire game. He has counter cut for guard breaks. 
and other things like that and he has jump which is a really good mobility tool actually for using it to get around the map and it can add damage to the end of your combos in a down slam so yeah afro samurai is definitely the best character in the miscellaneous tier as he can get combos the easiest and he just is the most consistent character on here and i don't think it's up for debate the afro is just literally leagues above every single person on this list and if you don't agree with me fine leave your thoughts in the comment section if you did enjoy this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe you know put your list down in the comment section compare it to my own and let's see what people are saying um make sure you're respectful though in the comments don't go pressing anybody don't want to see any of that negativity you'll probably get your comment removed by youtube anyways if you're being overly negative and yeah, I'll see y'all later in the next video, and peace. Thank you guys so much for watching that. If you did enjoy, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You know, get your boy in the algorithm, know what I'm saying? But yeah, if you did enjoy that, don't forget to do those things directly supporting me. And I've got some other videos here if you want to watch them. But if not, uh, have a good rest of your day, and I'll see y'all in the next one.